gonna be very confidential. You can't get better than that. Hi everyone and welcome to the very first episode of EQ Enthusiasts. My name is Dennis, usually I'm working in the communications department of Daimler, but in this format I take you behind the scenes of Mercedes EQ. I show you the latest innovations and the most fascinating products, plus the people behind them. And that's why we're here in Sindelfingen at the Mercedes-Benz Design Center. We're going to meet a very special person. He once designed the Mercedes Vision AMG Gran Turismo. Now he's a team leader in exterior design and significantly involved in the look of the whole EQ family. I promise you up front, guys, it's going to be a lot of fun for you to watch. Hope that sounds good. And if so, let's go. Mercedes-Benz is a luxury brand with a huge heritage. That's for sure. But how does luxury and design go together when it comes to electric cars? That's what we'll find out today. And as you can see, it's going to be very confidential. Bastian, hey, good to Hi see there. you. How are you doing? Great to have you here at the Mercedes-Benz Design Center in Sindelfing. Thanks so much. What we're going to do today, what have you prepared for us? I'm very happy to show you today some insights about the Mercedes design and give you a closer look in the future of Mercedes-Benz EQ. Yeah, sounds great. So. Uh, you could follow me, but before that, uh, I have to tell you that everything in there is highly confidential, so you have to turn your camera off and then we can follow. Okay, guys, you heard it. I have to turn off the camera at this point. Okay, guys, I'm allowed to turn on the camera again. Look at this beauty. <laughs> Bastian, where did you take us? So Dennis, now we're in the heart of the design building, more or less. It's one of our design okay. studios. And what you can see here is the Vision EQS, yeah. one of our latest show cars. Nice one. Show me uh, some of your projects. I'm, I'm really curious. Um, one of a project that uh, I think that was really a childhood dream when uh, um, PlayStation approached us, yeah, actually. Yeah, I want to talk about this one. And uh, I've seen it. They, they, they asked us to do a show car for their game Gran Turismo. I mean, a show car for a racing game, you can't get better than that. These tasks you don't even get in university. So mm -hmm. we created a car that is really highly efficient. We have active aerodynamics. But this one was built for a combustion engine, right? What about the EQS, the, the electric S-Class? So we take our inspiration more from electric devices to create a really unique look for the EQ brand. So we have that one bow silhouette describing the sleekness and elegance character of the car. What are the main challenges uh, creating an EQ in comparison to one with a combustion engine? To make that a bit more clear for you, I thought, why not go in here and do a little bit of sketching? Right now? Yeah. For me, I would, <laughs> I, would, I would ask you to uh, sketch some... What does a Mercedes mean to you? What, what it comes into your mind if you think about a Mercedes classical limousine? Classic, okay, so like S-Class. Like, go ahead, yeah. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> no, look, looking good. Go ahead. Yeah, can I work in your team? <laughs> of course, we always need young, talented, motivated <laughs> designers. Oh man, like a uh, common S-Class. Don't forget the star. Yeah, sure. Okay, now it's now it's finished. What do you think? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm being honest, this is exactly what I mean. Like um, everybody has a perception of Mercedes um, in particular. What what does it mean to think about Mercedes? And uh, for sure, most of the people think about a normal limousine. And uh, so this time, if it if it looks like this or more like the S-Class, um, you have a long bonnet, which is uh, unique for the combustion engines, and also a long rear overhang, which is specific for the rear wheel driven cars. But here with the EQ family, of course, we have to uh, rethink everything. We have different um, technical requirements. It's an electric car. We still want to have people um, that it is recognizable as a Mercedes for sure, but then bring new elements in that makes it really unique for electric Mercedes. For example, if you look at the front of a car, for example, an S-Class front, you have the 
um, huge Mercedes grill, which is recognizable for Mercedes all over the world. People mm -hmm. recognize that grill, sure. they know the star, and they know that it is Mercedes. Um, for sure, with the EQ brand, we have to find a new interpretation of that unique grill. So, as you can see here, um, it definitely looks different, right? It, <laughs> it, it really does. And uh, that's not only because of the light and the stars, but also because it's an electric car. And therefore, we don't need as much air for cooling the engine, which is behind it, because on, this is the case on the S-Class. Whereas here, we have more design freedom mm -hmm. to develop something new. As you can see here, we have a seamless integration of the headlights together with the grille to generate that really unique and specific look for our EQ front ends. Yeah, you talked about the black panel before, but what about these little stars inside? I mean, because it is a show car and we want to play something and want to explore the creative potential of it, mm -hmm. we think of, if you think about a black panel, you also think about a screen. And what we did here is how much depth we can give such a surface. So what we have here is a star panel on the front and then having these LEDs to create that more or less infinite um, grill. Does the final design look like that? Not exactly, but uh, I can't tell you right Some now. Some kind of. Okay. What else can you show me? So if you look at the side of the car, then you're also going to realize that it's different. Yeah. To, uh, the hood not is only to your sketch. pretty smaller. Yeah, the hood is smaller, right. As I said, on the S-Class, you have a long bonnet because there's the engine behind. Like on an electric car, you don't have the engine in the front, and therefore we reduce the front overhang to a minimum and put in the wheels really far out on the corners of the whole car to emphasize the cabin and where the people are going to sit. Then. Yeah, but from my point of view, it looks more sporty than a usual S-Class or a saloon. Yeah, for sure. What we tried here is to find a sleek silhouette uh, that is good for aerodynamics and is creating a different character for these cars. So it's more a four-door sports car than a classic limousine. And if you come towards the back, you can see how nicely uh, the cabin is tapering. It's on one side good for the aerodynamics and it's sustainable and efficient. At the same time, it allows us as the designers to put the cabin on these really nice full shoulders to give the overall car an appearance, a strong appearance on the street mm -hmm. and really good stands. Pretty awesome and interesting. Um, thanks for giving us so many exclusive insights. Um, but as you know, um, a bit curious and always a bit impatient. Is there something else that you can reveal about the upcoming EQS? No, actually, I can't do that. Just, just one thing, come on. You know, because it's you. Give me a second at the drawing board, or I'll be back. Take your time, take your time. So good to see how passionate this guy is. I'm deeply impressed and so thankful for visiting this extraordinary place. It has been a once in a lifetime opportunity and I hope you liked what you have seen. And if so, click on the thumbs up button, leave us a comment below and don't forget to subscribe, share it with your friends. I'm really looking forward to going on with you on the next episode. And there comes the future. Hope you like it. <laughs> that, wow, that's cool. <laughs> All right, guys, sorry, but you have to stay a little bit more patient. But I think you got some really good insights about Mercedes-Benz design and also the future of the EQ family. I think we really created something special and unique. It's going to be something on the road that you haven't seen before. And stay tuned and bye-bye. Bye, guys.